In the previous video, we created the AdWords VPC, and in this video, we're gonna go ahead and create the Internet Gateway. Internet Gateway is the horizontally scaled, redundant, and highly available VPC component that allows communication between your VPC and the Internet. All right, let's get started. The easiest way is to create the Internet Gateway is to go to uh, VPC in AdWords console, navigate to your Internet um, getaways and click uh, create internet getaway uh, give it a name for example main and obviously click create internet getaway right and don't forget when you create your internet getaway you also need to attach to your vpc and i'm gonna show you how to do that through the uh, terraform so let's go back to the vpc and let's click the vpcs and that's the vpc that we created in the previous video all right, let's go back to the code and we created two files in the last video, the provider and the VPC itself. In this video, we're gonna create the internet gateway.tf file. All right, and let's define AWS internet gateway uh, block, Terraform block. And that's the block and let me close this and you can find all the information about this in this link. So if you open this link, you can find what kind of arguments it accepts. For example, this internet gateway will accept one required argument VPC ID and optionally it will accept, accept some tags, right? And it will output few variables as well. All right, let's go back to the code. And let's, uh, well, first of all, let's, let me create the tags first, right? So this is optional and it's just, uh, we're gonna give it a, a name tag main, it, you will see it in the AWS console. And the main argument that it will accept is the VPC ID, right? And there are a few ways where you can get that VPC ID. So they, well, the easiest way is of course to go uh, to AWS console, and well grab this vpc id and paste it here and it's gonna be totally fine right and well we can do a little bit better right so another way for example you created your vpc manually and you won't only create the adbs internet gateway through the terraform you may want to use the um, resource that called data for example uh, it, it starts with a data keyword, then it's going to be a keyword at VPC, then the variable that you give it. And then again, you need to provide this uh, VPC ID that you get it from the uh, console, for example. And, and then you can reference this in, in your code like that. Data and then at VPC, then that main that id all right so it looks like it's very similar that we had it before like we hard coded it but in some situation you may want to get not only the id but for example you need to get the cedar block of that vpc and uh, this particular object data at base vpc main will contain not only id but other information which will be in some cases useful for you all right but since we created the vpc using the Terraform, we actually have access uh, to the resource itself. So here in our VPC file, we can reference th this resource and it starts with the uh, AdBS VPC. So let's go back here, AdBS VPC, then it's a main, that main, that ID. And that's pretty much it. And let's uh, go to the terminal and run again terminal uh, terraform fmt to format our code and also let's run terraform plan to verify what it will create and it's gonna take a few seconds to refresh the state and we can see that we have one uh, resource that it will create all right so it looks fine and now instead of plan let, let's uh, type apply and Finally, uh, we're gonna say yes. 
and we will create our internal gateway in AWS. And this is the, again, the same output variable from the VPC. Okay, let's go and check the internal gateways. Here we can see that we just created the internal gateway and it also was attached to our VPC, so it's ready. So in this video, we created the internal gateway and in the next video, we're gonna create the four subnets, two public subnets and two private subnets.